Naturally nervous. Um, I know roughly where we're going. Um, I know roughly what we're going to do, but I don't know how it's going to feel or anything like that. So um, yeah, it's kind of weird, but very, very exciting at the same time. You know, it's nice to do something different. It's a great opportunity to do things for uh, other people and get involved yourself. So uh, it's been, it's going to be a great day. You know, at the great charity of the RF Benevolent Fund, working with myself getting up in an aircraft. I've got the uh, the, the logo on my golf bag along with uh, the East Cheshire Hospice in Macclesfield. So uh, there'll be two charities on my golf bag and something that I'll raise awareness all over the world. Top on the yeah. tap. Oh, How fast are we going? Yeah. Yeah. 360 knots or 11. Miles an hour? Uh, about 400. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. It's starting to feel like you're moving. I know. Low level there was unbelievable. Okay, I'm pretty good. I'm a little bit dry. I didn't bring any beers, unfortunately. Uh, I've got one here. <laughs> I'm not sure this is great prep, but uh, it's going to be great fun. It's somewhere I've always wanted to play, so uh, I remember watching it on TV last time when Martin Keimer won. Um, you know, so uh, I look forward to it. It's, it's a linked golf course on the coast, so you know I've got to play as you know my, my absolute best golf of the week to en enable me to beat what will be um, you know world-class field. You know, I do believe I've got that in me. Um, I just need to, like I say, tighten up a few areas and and put it all together on the on that week. What's he doing there then? Just turn and we'll basically just swap sides. We'll just do this manoeuvre just to swap sides effectively. Don't forget we do this at night as well. Do? Yeah. But that's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I mean the points start I think uh, in a couple of weeks so uh, now's the time to start playing well. You've got to play well, really well for a calendar season. I did that last time so there's no reason why I can't do it again. It's very similar in a way that um, you know we had loads of briefings, loads of uh, trying all the suits, getting fitted, right helmet, getting in the plane, getting used to all the different things. It was a bit like everything that was happening before the Ryder Cup. You're sort of getting flustered with all the things that are going on, and then suddenly when you get when the roof closes on the plane or you step out onto the first tee, it all every you just get like a calmness that you're suddenly in a position to ready to go. Um, you know, and that's where, you know, that's the most enjoyable bit. Not bad way to spend the morning. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it was unbelievable. Felt a bit dodgy at one point pulling some G's and I just felt a bit dizzy and was like, well, where are we? But mainly really good. I mean, went low level flying was just incredible. 250 th feet through um, the Lake District, through the valleys was just amazing. Um, whew, it's big time. I mean, pulling, I feel tired now. I'm not even doing anything, you know? A totally surreal experience. Nothing that I've ever experienced before, but um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it being a great day.